What is going on you guys? It's Boost J. Welcome back to the channel today. Uh, the E30 needs some uh, regular maintenance, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna tell you guys with me. We're gonna go to O'Reilly's and pick up a valve cover gasket, oil and an oil filter, and we're gonna do the oil change today and change out the uh, valve cover gasket, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do all that today. Uh, welcome to uh, E30 Sundays. All right guys, so we just got back from O'Reilly's and we got the oil, so let's go ahead and get that. Ow, I just hit my head. This and throw it right up here. And uh, thank you to my mom. She just bought me this cobalt tool thing yesterday. Um, really, really nice. I love it. I'll show you guys, you know, little bits and pieces of it, ins and outs. But um, really, really cool. I love it. Um, I'm gonna take out the oil and then get some tools that I need to do the oil change and uh, we good to go. So let's get it started. So guys, the things you'll need to do the, in, or the oil change is your Castrol GTS 2050. This is what basically any, almost any E30 owner recommends or mechanic that specializes on E30s to use this 2050 Castrol GTX. So that's what I've been using. Uh, mobile One or k &N air filter. If you're going to get a Mobile One, you can do this extended performance uh, version or they have a regular version. Uh, the part number is M1205A for the extended or m one 205 for the regular version. Then you're gonna need a 17 uh, millimeter uh, wrench, ratchet, or whatever to get your drain plug off. And then an oil filter wrench, just in case if you can't get the oil filter off by hand, which you should be able to do. And uh, with the oil, you'll need 4.2 quarts if you're doing it on a M20B25. The 2.7, I'm not too sure, or the four cylinders, I'm not sure, but for 91 325i, uh, 2.5 is 4.2 quarts. So, that being said, let's get right into the install. Another thing you guys will need, if you don't have them, is get gloves, because you don't want uh, old used oil on your skin, because it has uh, carcinogens in it, so uh, make sure to wear gloves when you do that, just in case you do get any oil on your hands, you won't get it if you have gloves on. So right now I'm gonna go loosen up the oil filter just a little bit and then take off the oil filler cap and lift up the dipstick a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna go down there and crack the uh, 17 mil bolt off. And I got my drain uh, pan ready to go to catch the oil. And then after that, put the car back down on the ground and fill it back up. And when, you're do, uh, when you do change your oil, you make sure you wanna drive the car around get the oil warm because then it gets up all the gunk uh, and gets it free flowing in that and then it'll settle to the bottom. That way the oil will come out a lot quicker and get almost all the you know gunk buildup that you have that you may have in the oil uh, out through the drain plug rather versus when you do it when it's cold. It'll just get all the oil and nothing else but doing it while it's warm is the most efficient way and the best way to do an oil change. So I'm gonna get my special gloves and reach down there to get the oil filter.
guys, once you have the car all started up, or once you have it all filled up with oil, um, go ahead and start it up, let the oil circulate, and while you're, the car is running, check for leaks. Look at the oil filter if you can, and look under the, just look under the ground uh, near the drain pan, um, and just look under the ground to see if there's any oil leaks or leaking on the ground. And uh, if not, let it circulate through. Reset your oil light if you have one, or get a tool to reset it. I have a tool that you plug into the little computer slot, and it resets the uh, oil light in my dash. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Right there, those three green lights, it should be all five lights are green, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset it to five. So your oil light, make sure to check for that. Make sure that goes away after you start it. So here we go. So it's still on. You're good to go. Now, go ahead and go outside and check for leaks, which I will do right now. All right, so once you've let the car idle for about five minutes, uh, get the oil circulating, let it sit for about a minute, go get a clean rag and check your oil level. So I'm gonna go get a rag and check the oil level and it'll let you know if you're overfilled. If you're overfilled, you may wanna crack the drain bolt just a little bit and not take it out all the way to let some oil out because you do not wanna run it overfilled. But if you're underfilled, go ahead and take the cap off again and fill it up with some oil. So. Let me check the oil and see where I'm at. And then take it right back out. And then hold it up on the rag like this. And see where my level is at. And we are right just a hair under the max line. So this is my max line right here. And my low line is right here and I'm about here compared to the max line. So that is really, really good. Uh, good judgment on my behalf. And then just go ahead and wipe it off one more time and drop it right back in there. Thank you guys for checking back into the channel. Uh, see you guys on the next episode. See you guys on E30 Fridays and E30 Sundays. Have a good rest of your Sunday, guys. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.